Shake Ibra Fall!
Al-Fatiha. All the be lying in a shaitan and a jeen. La hawla wa la kuwata. Ila bilahi wa huwal alil adheem. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki yawmideen. Iyaka nabudu wa iyaka nasta'een. Idina sirata mustaqeem. Sirata latina namta alayhim. Gairil magdubi alayhim. Wala dolin amin al-fatiha. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Malik yawm al-Din. Iyaka nabudu wa iyaka nasta'een. Idina Sirat al Mustaqim Sirat al Athina Nam Talehim Darul Magdubi Alehim Wala Dolin Al Fatiha Bismillah Ir Rahman Ir Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Nabudu wa Iyaka Nasta'een Idina Sirat Al-Mustaqeem Sirat Al-Athina Namta Alayhim Gail Makdubi Alayhim Waladdali Amin al-Fatiha. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki yawm al-Din. Iyaka nabudu wa iyaka nasta'een. Idina sirat al-mustaqeem. Sirat al-athina namta alayhim. Gaira al-makdubi alayhim. Waladdolin. Ameen. Salat al-Nabi from Kadim Rasul. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi an fasil maklukati Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi ash'ar al-mawjoonati Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi huruf ilahi wa da'awati Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adad al-bidayati wa nihayati min al-mawdumi wa mawjudi ila bahd al-abadi wa sallallahu ala kairu kaukihi Muhammad wa alihi ajma'in Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adad al-anfas al-maklukati Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi ash'ar al-mawjudati. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi huruf ilahi wa da'awati. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi al-bidayati wa nihayati min al-mawdumi wa mawjudi ila abad al-abadi. Wa sallallahu ala khairu kaukihi Muhammad wa alihi ajma'in. 
Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adari anfasa makrukati. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adari ash'aru mawjuduti. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adari hurufi lohi wa da'awati. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adari al-bidayati wa nihayati min al-mawdumi wa mawjuri ila batil abbari. Wa sallallahu ala kailu kalkihi Muhammad wa alihi ajma'in. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi anfas al-maklukati. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi ash'ar al-mawjudati. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi harufi lohi wa da'awati. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi al-bidayati wa nihayati min al-mawdumi wa mawjudi ila abati al-abadi wa sallallahu ala khairu kalkihi Muhammad wa alihi ajma'in Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi anfas al-maklukati Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi ash'ar al-mawjudati. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi al-bidayati wa nihayati min al-mahdumi wa mawjudi ila abat al-ahbadi. Wa sallallahu ala khairu kalkihi Muhammad wa alihi ajma'in. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi anfas al-maklukati. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi ash'ar al-mawjudati. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi huruf ilahi wa da'awati. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi al-bidayati wa nihayati. من المقدوم والموجود إلى بعد الأحباد وصلى الله على خير كافه محمد وآله أجمعين اللهم صل على محمد بيداد أنفاس المخلوقة اللهم صل على محمد بيداد أشعر موجودة Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi huruf ilahi wa da'awati. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin bi adadi al-bidayati wa nihayati min al-mawdumi wa mawjudi ila abad al-ahbadi. Wa sallallahu ala kairu kalkihi Muhammad wa alihi ajma'in. Astaghfirullah bihi. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma bi haqqi wa tilahi ta'ala al-Karimi. Salli wa salli wa barik ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammadin. Wa alihi wa sabbihi wa takabbal mini li wa tika al-Karimi. Kauli ta'ibani laika bi astaghfirullah bihi. Astaghfirullah al-Azim wa atubi lehi min tawahirin wa min guyub. Sa'autuhu bi haqi wa jilahi makbiratan min jumlatil manahi. Tuktu lahu min jumlati saga'iri. Ma'al kaba'iri wa min dama'iri. Tuktu lahu min jumlatil saga'iri. Ma'al kaba'iri wa min dama'iri. Gafiru lifiru kulu ma takadama wa ma takara wa ma baynahuma fahimni ya umma wa zidni umma wa ammalan wa adaban wa fahma wa rabbiya lifsi fil ulama nafiya wa ta'al hayati min shaka imaniya ikshif liya la sara wa gawamida ya khayra man kasha fasiran gamida لجمع دميا ما تفارق لدا خاتي من آخر وصاف الكل لدا لكل لدا تفاخر لدا ميا ربي بكم وتسمى كلاميا هبلي يا أخرام في تلاوة 
kairan katiran min kawal halawa barik liyadahumma fi hayati wat'afu adi wa tanal ayati habliya khawni bisra kulli man yatub wa li thawahira abin ma'al guyub khabula nakunu bihi tahiran min al-dhanubi wal ma'asi wal afati hatta akulu jannata lati wuda muntakum bi rahmatika Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Salatul Fatih. Bismillahir Rahman, Ir Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin al Fatih lima uglika wa khatimi lima sabaka. Nasir al Haqi bil Haqi wal Hadi ila siratka mustaqim. Wa ala alihi haqqa qadrihi wal miqdarihi al-lazim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad al-Fatihi lima uglika wa katimi lima sabaka nasir al-haqi bil-haqi wal-hadi ila siratika mustaqim. Wa ala alihi haqqa qadrihi wal miqdarihi al-lazim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad al-Fatihi lima uglika wa katimi lima sabaka nasir al-haqi bil-haqi wa hadi ila siratika mustaqim wa ala alihi haqqa qadrihi wa al-miqdarihi al-ladhin Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad al-Fatihi lima uglika wa katimi lima sabaka nasir al-haqi bil-haqi wa hadi ila siratika mustaqim wa ala alihi haqqa qadrihi wa miqdarihi al-ladhin Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad al-Fatihi lima uglika wa katimi lima sabaka Nasir al-haqi bil-haqi wal-hadi ila siratika mustaqim Wa ala alihi haqqa qadrihi wal-miqdarihi al-ladhim Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad Al-Fatihi lima uglika wa katimi lima sabaka Nasir al-haqi bil-haqi wal-hadi ila siratika mustaqim Wa ala alihi haqqa qadrihi wa al-miqdarihi al-ladhim Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad Al-Fatihi lima uglika wa khatimi lima sabaka Nasir al-haqi bil-haqi wa al-hadi ila siratika mustaqim Wa ala alihi haqqa qadrihi wa al-miqdarihi al-ladhim Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad Al-Fatihi lima uglika Wa katimi lima sabaka Nasir al-haqi bil-haqi wal-hadi ila siratika mustaqim Wa ala alihi haqqa qadrihi wal-migdarihi al-ladhim Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim Ya Hayu, Ya Khayyum, Ya Kadus, Ya Mutakabir, Ya Latif, Ya Ghafur, Ya Ghafar, Ya Haq, Ya Halim, Ya Ra'uf, Ya Dhal Jalali wa Al-Ikram, Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Hayu, Ya Khayyum, Ya Latif, Ya Kadus, We pray to you, Allah, with the intention of studying the mystical dimensions in the life of our beloved Habibullah Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as taught to us in the book Song of Muhammad by our beloved Bawa Mahayadeen. We know that our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Muhammad is Kato Kalkulai, the greatest of all creation. And in studying the mystical dimensions of his life, Ya Allah, we hope to come to know 
his inner states and realities. And by knowing the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we may draw closer to you, Allah, through his light, the Nur Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad Al-Fatiha, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yomidi. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka na'sta'in, idi na'sirat al-Mustafim. Sirat al-Athina anamta alayhim gayl makdubi alayhim wa la dolim. Ameen. Sheikh Ibrafat! You have no idea how excited I am about this new class. Ah! What? We have, oh, ooh, the Honorable Marcus Garvey, I mean, the forerunner of Noble Dry Ali, I mean, this class, let me turn this down. Hold on. Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahman. I think it's a beautiful journey we have embarked on because the 99 names of Allah class was something I've never seen before. We just studied the 99 names of Allah in detail. And I don't even want to, I was, I don't know what I'm going to do with those videos. We shall see, but I don't really want to give those videos to people. So I don't know what we're going to do with those videos. I was thinking about marketing them, but I'd have to ask for a thousand dollars for the videos because the knowledge in those videos on the 99 names of Allah, you're not gonna find a class like that nowhere on the planet earth that we just had with the collective minds and the contributions from the disciples in the class. Uh, the 99 names of Allah class was phenomenal. So, in the natural flow of Islam, the next study should normally be the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, how many of you have heard of the book, the Bhagavad Gita? Reading the Bhagavad Gita, no, get your hand on my pocket. How he just gonna pull the book up? Damn you. You think your kung fu is better than mine? I'll show you flying fist of tuba. Fun. So, reading the back of a Gita is an act of worship because this is Lord Krishna's teaching about realization and the eight branches of yoga, as taught to Arjuna. And do you know the Bhagavad Gita in English, it means the song of God. Yes. Bhagavad Gita in English means song of God. So now, uh, you might want to mute that, bro. So now we have a book from Baal Mahadeen named the Song of Muhammad. And this is the book we're going to be studying, The Song of Muhammad by Baal Mahayadeen. It's such a mystical book that I'm telling you that reading this book is an act of worship. Reading this book, Song of Muhammad by Baal Mahayadeen, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is an act of worship. I have seen countless videos on the life of Muhammad, peace be upon him. I don't know how many books we've read on the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, but you will not, capital 
N O T. See anything about the life of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that is close to what Bao Mahayadeen is saying. The stuff that Bao Mahayadeen is saying in his book about the Prophet Muhammad, Alayhisman, some of the Sunni Muslims would say, a stock for Allah, a stock for Allah. <laughs> the book is so esoteric. I first read the book, I think I've read the book probably three times in my life. Maybe first time I read it was probably about 20 years ago. But I started rereading the book again two weeks ago. The book is so deep. You know, when we did the 99 Names of Allah class, I let you guys make your own PowerPoints, right? I didn't give you guidance or assistance on making the PowerPoint. This book is so deep. I'm going to have to make a study guide for every chapter to help you so you don't drown. Because the concepts he's saying in this book It's not for beginners. And after starting to reread the book again, I said, maybe I made a mistake. This book probably shouldn't even be taught yet because there's another book by Bao Mahayadeen that should have been taught first called Shaken Disciple. Because Shaken Disciple is an introductory book to his concepts on having a shake and a teacher, but I wanted to be inside of this book, Nur Muhammad, Song of Muhammad during Ramadan. So we will start before Ramadan and inshallah, we will still be reading the book during Ramadan. It's very esoteric. So for the next eight weeks, every Sunday, starting today, I'm going to type up a study guide for the chapters. So we're going to do two chapters a week. The book is, hold on, where's my book at? Hold on. See, I'm a, uh, I'm a hard black. I'm a, I like to have something in my hand, see? I know we got the PDF of the book, uh, but this is the book. And it has 12 chapters. We have eight weeks. So we're going to do two chapters a week, okay? Next week, we're gonna cover chapter one and two. But I'm gonna make a study guide with questions for you to answer while you're reading chapters one and two. Every week, I'm gonna post a study guide on Sunday. You can read the chapter in a day, but I'm telling you, take your time with this material because one of the things you want to notice, and I hope it's in the PDF, is Bal Mahayadeen has a glossary in his book because he's using so many words He's using vocabulary from Arabic and Tamil. Okay? So he has a glossary of words that are in Tamil, which was his original language. Now, 
Okay, so that's how it's going to work. We're going to do two chapters a week. I'm going to make a study guide with questions. While you're reading the material, I want you to answer the questions in the study guide, okay? And you have two options. You can take the study guide and turn the study guide into a PowerPoint for guidance. Or you can take the study guide and your own information from the chapters to make the PowerPoint. Somebody asked me a question about what I just said for the class homework. You can turn the study guide that I'm going to make you into your PowerPoint or you can freelance and make your own PowerPoint based off of the information you thought was important in the chapter. I'm giving you the study guide because there's so much in every chapter, it's, it's, it's mind blowing. The first chapter will turn your... The first chapter will turn your hair green. So who can, who can tell me what is, what is, how is the homework going to go for this class? So all the homework has to be present in PowerPoint format. Now, if you are happy, no, it doesn't have to be in PowerPoint. Uh, Prophet Muhammad Lay Salam said, do not make Islam difficult for people. And I know some of us, because of our chronological age, might not be as adept as others as using technology to make PowerPoints. So if you just want to upload uh, uh, the answers to the questions, for this book, it's fine. For your homework, you can just upload the answers to uh, the study guide or you can make a PowerPoint. It's up to you. I don't want anyone to feel like they were not able to. If you can understand half of the material I'm going to talk about, I'll be happy. I don't expect everyone, this book right here has a learning curve. I'm just being honest. Some of y'all ain't going to get it. I'm just being honest. Because I'm reading through it like, damn, 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 damn. Damn! <laughs> like, I'm having to go back over, like, I got stuff underlined on every page. And what I'm going to do is take the things that I underline and turn them into questions and put it in the study guide. So who can tell me how is the homework going to work for this class? Anyone? Islam. First, I rise giving all praise to Allah, the Father of the universe, the Father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. I further extend those those honors to his holy and divine prophet, Prophet uh, Muhammad, to the Silsala prophets from the Prophet Muhammad, to the last prophet in these days and times, to Prophet Noble Jur Ali, Islam. Um, so what you have said is because of the information covered in this great book uh indeed it is truly a a a a a, a an ocean um because of the the wide and vast amount of information covered in the in the book uh you will provide a study guide uh which will consist of information that you questions that you have highlighted in your own studies um and so in our uh, ability, in our responding to that study guide, we can either uh, take one or two routes. We can either uh, respond to the questions, uh, frankly, straight out, A equals B, um, or we can uh, create our own PowerPoint surrounded around uh, conveying the, the messages or the points that you highlighted in the study guide. Yes. Yes, exactly. Is that clear? Does anybody have a question on the homework and how it's going to work? Okay, now, uh, also, before we start, we have 
a new student who's traveling with us, uh, Brother Tavares Hines, would you like to introduce yourself? He is a cousin of Brother Bilal. Inshallah, we, we had a, uh, a brief conversation that was about an hour. We found out he's a Jedi. He could jump right into the class and as a part of the family. I think it's running in, they, in their DNA. They got something going on special in that family. Because both of these young brothers can start their own Sufi order tomorrow with these Shaolin, Tai Chi, Qigong, five dragon forms of martial arts this young brother is studying. Can you introduce yourself, brother Tavares? Sheikh Ibn Afal is his other name, but go ahead. Oh, you're muted. Unmute yourself. Okay, here we go. Can everybody hear me? Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, I like to say, Salam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace and blessings to everyone. Um, my honorable name is Tavares Hines. My righteous given name is Sheikh Ibrahim. Sheikh Ibrahim of Falls. Ah! Um, look about myself. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I like to say first and foremost that um, there is no coincidences. I mean, everything is divinely planned. Every step we take, every breath we make, everything. You know what I'm saying? So never ever think that you are ahead of time or behind time. You know, everything is always right on time. Um, a little bit about myself is that, you know, I started off my journey into self-discovery um, with the 5% nation of gods and earth, you know what I'm saying? So I started with that. But even then, you know, there was questions that I had inside. There was, I felt like I was being called and pulled upward to grow and develop a little bit more because I was seeing something, even within those teachings, it was more than just like words. I was seeing something that was really calling for me to reach a little bit higher. So, you know, as the Holy Quran tells us that Allah lift us degree by degree, stage by stage. So throughout my growth and development, you know, um, I was going through different stages, different degrees I was learning. And then whenever um, I got connected to my cousin Bilal again, because this is what I'm telling you, I mean, the modern science and technology, everything just, I mean, as far as in the place. So um, he was telling me about, you know, the teachers of Sheikh Sufi. And then I began to see a lot of confirmations within like a lot of questions that I'm always having. Anyway, to make a long story short, I finally was able to meet up with Sheikh Sufi and speak with him. And I'm telling you, all the questions I had, everything became confirmed. You know, I felt like I found a home. Everything is beginning to make sense. Um, it's so much to say, man, but at the same time, um, I like to try to make it like as brief as possible. Just to tell y'all, man, that um, there's no coincidence. I'm telling you, you are exactly where you're supposed to be at in life. So never hurry, never rush, and never take your time. Just always know that, you know? And um, I'm just honored to be in this class. I'm just thankful. I mean, words can't even express, I'm telling you. I mean, you know, I've been listening to the groups and chats and watching videos about the state of the Every Every sentence is like less within itself. You know what I mean? So I'm taking my time. I'm digesting everything as much as possible. And, and um, I'm just thankful, you know? I mean, I could tell y'all individually about like how much my life has changed on the inside since I've been introduced to the brother as well as the teachings, you know? And um, I'm just I'm just honored and, um, and humbled, you know, to be amongst such great-minded people, you know what I mean? And um, I look forward to learning from everybody, you know, as well as add on if I can, but I'm a student first and foremost. <laughs> yes. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. <laughs> And I, I, I received a message earlier today. I think, uh, Brother Tarian L, you need an accountability partner. Yes, sir. So uh, I want you and uh, Brother Shaky Rafal to exchange information, maybe in the chat group. So the way it works, brother, uh, Shaky Rafal, every student has an accountability partner that they meet with once a week to discuss the class and work on a PowerPoint presentation together, inshallah. Yes, sir, inshallah. Yes, that sounds a good idea. Yes, I'm gonna send my information out after the class, so yes, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, does anybody have any questions or comments on how the class is going to go? Now, to introduce this topic, woo, uh, Brother Kofi, can you share the nine Muhammads of Baal Mahayadeen? Let's look at how deep this rabbit hole can get. Baal Mahayadeen has a teaching called the nine Muhammads, where he describes nine manifestations of Nur Muhammad. And so what we did, being a teacher, we took this nine Muhammads and made a practice. So 
I know y'all saying, oh man, this guy giving us more practices, more practices, more practices. Yes, more practices. So this is a practice based off of Bal Mahadeen's Nine Muhammads. And the Prophet Muhammad Salam, says, Allah created my light first, and Allah created me for Allah, and from my light, Allah created everything. So one of Baha'i Deen's teachings is inside of the heart, there are four lights. You have four chambers in your heart. Four ventricles. And Baal Mahayadeen says, in the first ventricle is the light of Allah. And the second one is the Nur of Muhammad. The third one is the light of yourself. And, the, well, hold on. The third one is the light of the Sheikh. It's out of order on the screen. And the fourth one is the light of yourself. So you have the light of Allah, the light of Muhammad, the light of the Sheikh, and the light of yourself inside the four chambers. So the Sufi path is actually the unification of your light with the light of your Sheikh through what we call Fanafi Sheikh. From Fanafi Sheikh into unification with the light of Nur Muhammad peace be upon him, and from Nur Muhammad into the unification of the light of Allah. So the Sufi path is the unification of these four lights inside of your heart. It's an inside job. So we use this practice of the nine Muhammads to draw close to Nur Muhammad. So Allahumma salli Allah, then you put the name of Muhammad was Salim. But before we go to the practice, let's go over all of the nine Muhammads, peace be upon them. Okay, so, and this is important because you will see these names. You see Anathi, Athi, Awal, Hayat, Ana, Ahamad. These names are used in the book. So in the book, he talks about different aspects of Muhammad peace be upon him, as he journeys telling the life story of Prophet Muhammad Salam, But he's going to give some miracles from the Prophet Muhammad in his book that you won't see these miracles mentioned nowhere. Okay? So we have Anathi Muhammad. Would anyone like to read this one? Anathi Muhammad, number one. Nah, I'm shake. I'll read it. Okay. Anathi Muhammad. Bismillah. The unmanifested Muhammad before the before, in the beginning, before the beginning, in profound silence, when nothing had been manifested, Allah existed in himself before the universe. Now, who? <laughs> Anathi means the primal Muhammad. The light of Muhammad before creation. Before creation, there existed a world called Amma. Amma is the world of pure blackness that Allah and this Anathi Muhammad existed in pure oneness before the creation of the universe. Two words you have to know even before he, he's going to get to it. You have uh, the word of Awal. Awal, Awal Muhammad. Awal is the beginning world before this world. And then you have the, the world of Akira, which is the next world. But this Anathi Muhammad is a state of Muhammad before creation or what we call the primal Muhammad. Does anyone have a question or who can explain this idea? Because we're coming from before creation 
into creation through the nur of Muhammad, the light of Muhammad Anyone would like to try to speak on what they think this Anathi Muhammad is? Bismillah, Sheikh. Uh, this is this is a question. This is this is more of a question, I guess, but it it, it could also be the uh, an explanation. Is so would this be what in Christianity you, or you would call the logos? You know, in the beginning yes. there was the word, and the word was with God. This is this is this is that right? Uh, woo, wait. I think this might be even before that, before the manifestation of the word. The I think the next one is the manifestation coming. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I like to add on, Shake. Um, Bismillah. Um, I think this means um refers to what um in um in Taoism it deals with the science of Tai Chi. It deals, it deals with the oneness before there was a separation. Before there was yin and yang, everything just purely existed. You know, before there was a separation. So I think like um this is the same thing as in the science of Tai Chi, what teaches, you know, the one is the beginning, the essence of all. Before the separation, before there was black and white, before there was male and female, everything just purely existed as was, you know, as it is. So I think it's referring to that same oneness. oneness. Yeah, this is a oneness before manifestation of words and sound. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. The primal being of Prophet Muhammad and Allah existing in oneness before there was, see how he says before the before, in mm. the beginning before the beginning, mm. in profound silence, when nothing had been manifested, meaning not even the word or the logos was here yet. Allah existed in himself before the universe. Now the Hadith says about this, Allah was a hidden treasure and wanted to be known. I created the universe so that I might be known. This is the hidden treasure of Allah and Muhammad being in a state of oneness. Okay? Islam, Sheikh. Islam, uh -huh. Um, you just just to clarify, you said Anna is the world before the world, right? Anna. Amma, yes. A M M A. Amma, yes. Okay, A M M A. Okay. And so the prayer for this would be Allahumma salli ala anathi Muhammad was selling. Okay? Allahumma salli ala anathi Muhammad was selling. Ah, without form, void, darkness, pure blackness, yes. The next one, number two, who would like to read number two? Yes. Athi Muhammad, peace be upon him. The manifest Muhammad, the prime, the primal beginning. Allah saw that face, Muham, as his own before the universe. So in Tamil, the word Muham means face. In Baumahayadeen's original language, Tamil, the word Muhammad means face, and Bawa's concept is that this nur shines on the face, the Muham. Anathi Muhammad before creation, Athi Muhammad, the manifest Muhammad, the primal beginning. Allah saw the face Muhammad as his own before the universe. Who would like to speak on this Athi Muhammad? I told you it's a very high concept. Keep your seat belts on. So the prayer for this would be Allahumma salli ala athi Muhammad was selling. Allahumma salli ala athi Muhammad was selling. So from this second Muhammad, we have a wall, meaning first, number three, a wall. 
the beginning Muhammad in Arabic, the first Muhammad, the merging of creation. So with the manifestation of creation, we have this awal or what we call the first Muhammad, the nur, the light being manifest. Would anyone like to speak on what we call a wall Muhammad, the beginning Muhammad? The first two seem to be before creation, before the universe. And when the universe is created, we have a wall, the first, a wall meaning first, a wall Muhammad, who will a wall will akhiru will zahir will batanu. From the victory meditation, we have the four names of Allah. Who will awalu? This is the same awal. Who will awalu? Will akhiru? Will dahir? Will batanu? The first Muhammad is the nur, the manifestation. Would anyone like to speak on this from your own understanding? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, from Athi and Awal Muhammad. Um, Athi, I get as the face of, like you said, the face of Muhammad. Um, I, I, I liken that to, um, to uh, when I, when I hear that, I picture uh, Muhammad looking into uh, a pond or a, a body of water, and him being uh, the uh, reflection that comes back, being the awa. Uh, being that first reflection back, uh, and and you know from that reflection, uh, he begins to manifest, and through that he uses um, Islam. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll just say that through that he uses um, his powers to manifest in that reflection of self. All right, which goes back to us all having. Uh, a form or the light of Muhammad within ourselves. Yes, the light of Muhammad is inside of you. There's a verse in the Quran, peace be upon him, where Allah says, uh, Allah says in the Quran that the Prophet Muhammad is closer to the believers than their own selves. The verse in the Quran, Allah says, Muhammad is closer to you than you. How is that possible? It must be talking about the light of Muhammad inside of your heart. For Allah to say in the Quran that the Prophet Muhammad is closer to the believers than their own selves. This is Awal, the beginning Muhammad. And I know this is new information for a lot of people. So read over these nine Muhammads and get a grasp of them as you are studying this book, because they will come up in the book, inshallah. Allahumma salli Allahumma salli Allah awal Muhammad was salli Hayat Muhammad number four the eternal Muhammad from the name al Hai, the life of Muhammad Allah says uh, the Prophet Muhammad Islam said the first thing Allah created was my light and from my light everything else was created So this Nur Muhammad, when you're reading the first, the first chapter is going to explain how everything came from the light of Muhammad. You will be surprised to know that the light of Allah manifested the Nur, the light of Muhammad, or what we could call Hayat Muhammad, the, the eternal light of Muhammad. And from that Muhammad's light, the angels, the throne of Allah, all the holy books, the, the planets, even the souls of the human beings were created from this Hayat, this life of Muhammad, okay? Very advanced concepts for very advanced minds. And the Muhammad, who, who is this Baal Muhammad? I should have talked to you guys about Baal Mahadeen a little bit. Maybe after this, I'll talk about some of his story. But Anna Muhammad, number five. Would anyone like to read this number five, Anna Muhammad? I'll read that one, Sheikh. Uh-huh. 
Ana Muhammad, the nourishment Muhammad. Arabic, I am Muhammad is the nourishment. So uh, in Arabic, it is I am, and then Muhammad is the nourishment. Uh, wealth and money gives life to earth, water, fire, air, and ether. Yes. In Arabic, the word Anna means I am. Anna Muhammad is saying you are actually Muhammad. Muhammad is your true being, your true essence, your true light. And this is why the four lights of your light, the light of the Sheikh, the light of Muhammad, and the light of Allah exist inside of your heart and must be unified for you to have this station of Anna Muhammad actually means in Arabic, I am Muhammad. But Anna in Tamil means the nourishment. And this Muhammad is the source of wealth, prosperity, giving life to the five elements. I know this is a very advanced concept. Would anyone like to speak on how Muhammad is the nourishment of the universe and the five elements? Bismillah, it makes me think of it makes me think of the the very first ayat in the in the whole Quran, right? Alhamdulillah. Yes. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. All praise is due to Allah, the sustaining force of all of reality. And Muhammad means one worthy of praise. Yeah. Woo. So we're saying all praise is due to Allah, and then we're saying that Muhammad is the one worthy of praise. So if that is the source of all sustenance and you are saying, Ana Muhammad, I am Muhammad, then you are that, you are Rabbul Alameen, you are the sustaining force of all, all creation. Haram! Astaghfirullah! Haram! <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually the truth. This Ana Muhammad is your true self and is the source of all creation. Allahumma salli ala anna Muhammad wa sallim. Ahamad, the heart. Ahamad is a Tamil word. And uh, would anyone like to read the Ahamad? Number six. I'll read it, Shay. Wait, I got a question. I got a question. Okay. So when, when in the Kasai's of Amadou Bamba, when he's referencing Muhammad, who is actually being referenced? Is it mm -hmm. a reference to the historical prophet? Is it a reference to you? I, I think in Sheikh Ahmed Bambas, you see all manifestations of Muhammad being spoken of because uh, in this society, you will see uh, in this Kasai, Sheikh Ahmed Bamba, Mukani Matukima, in this book, Sheikh Ahmed Bamba has 700. And 87 names of Muhammad in this book. In mm. this book, Sheikh Ahmed Bamba put 787 names of Muhammad. We have nine names here from Baal Mahayadeen. Sheikh Ahmed Bamba got 787 names of Muhammad, and in this, in the book Song of Muhammad, whoo. Bawa Mahayadeen is clearly explaining that every prophet that came was a manifestation of Nur Muhammad. Mm. He is clearly explaining that there is only one God, Allah, and there is only one prophet, Muhammad, but Muhammad's name was Krishna, was Buddha, was Lao mm. Tzu. Muhammad's name was all of these different prophets. And this is a very inner concept where in the Quran, Allah says, 
we make no distinction amongst the prophets. Mm. So Allah is hinting to you that there's only one prophet, Nur Muhammad, who came as Jesus, who came... Baal Mahadeen said there was 201 incarnations of Muhammad. Haram, 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 haram. Go ahead. Is, so, uh, yeah, Sheikh Zulu, you want to speak? Go ahead. So is it like, I'm catching it like almost, I'm, I'm going to uh, computers with it. It's like Prophet Muhammad was the first operating system. And then with each age, it keeps upgrading. Uh, it was actually the transmigration of the Noor light of Muhammad traveling through time. Mm -hmm. uh, the name of the book is Song of Muhammad, and the PDF should be in the chat group. Now, let me show y'all something. Islam Sheikh, I got a question. I love questions, yes. Um, so you just so we're basically we, we know that um we have Allah, the father of all the worlds, right? And then we have um uh the prophets are uh, uh um thoughts of Allah manifested in human flesh, right? Um human flesh. Uh -huh. um, so then, but so basically, what I'm trying to say is, what it seems it sounds to me like um, the only, and I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. When, when I say this, it, it, it might sound crazy, but I, 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 I mean it in, in the highest respects. Um, the the primary difference between a man and the prophet is their frequency of light that they get from Allah. So basically what I'm saying is as man, our thoughts, us being thoughts of Allah, we get somewhat of a, of, of a, in the, in the Morris Holy Quran, it talks about Allah being, um, man, uh, man being, uh, uh, comprised of, uh, Truth and falsehood strangely mixed, right? Truth right. and falsehood strangely mixed. We know that truth, Allah is the only truth. Allah is that truth. So man being that truth and falsehood strangely mixed, um, would the prophet just be, or well, the prophet in therein, all the prophets, there just be a a stronger version of, of truth? That they just would be. No, only no, no, truth? no, no. The difference between the difference between us and the prophets is their realization of that nur inside of them. We all have the nur Muhammad inside of us and we all have the ability to cultivate that light so that the light will manifest through us. The same light that was in Prophet Muhammad is the same light that is in you. And what I wanted to show everyone was this. This says Muhammad in Arabic, right? Okay. Can everybody see that? Yeah. But if I turn it like this, what does it look like? A pregnant woman. Yeah. Every human being is Muhammad. Wow. Based off of how his name is written in Arabic. Wow. Wow. You see that? Muhammad in Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> if you put it like this, it looks like a human being walking. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's right okay. in the Arabic. That's clear. You can see that? Wow. Wow. Muhammad in Arabic. So, Muhammad is the light of Allah coming on earth in the human form in the human being. Each and every one of us is representing Muhammad. So when you send prayers upon Prophet Muhammad, who are you actually praying for? Yourself. 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 Your, high, your higher self. Your higher self. 
And Muhammad. It's the human being Muhammad, but that light, that Hayat Muhammad is in every creation. There's no living being that does not have an aspect of Nur Muhammad as a part of its essence and makeup. So when you say Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad was selling, you're actually saying, oh Allah, send prayers and peace upon every being in creation. Because every being is a what? A manifestation of this Nur Muhammad. And every human being, especially the human being, is this Muhammad in Arabic. Okay. Shake Sufi. So um peace to everybody in the class. I'm so glad to be a part of it. So when that picture of the name of Muhammad literally looks like a man or, or, or a woman walking with a man or a woman on top of his head or something, you know? Ooh. You see the high self, then you have the two that are walk, you have the lower self walking. It's like the spirit manifested in the flesh and this flesh is carrying the spirit around when you look at when I look at it that's what I see oh so you're talking about seeing uh this is the lower self and this is the higher self well the higher self and you can say the lower self or you can say the one at the very bottom is the physical the physical manifestation and the top one one on the top is the spiritual you see it's like it's carrying it around the light within us yes it's walking around, we're, we're carrying Ooh. the light within us, and that's what I'm thinking about when I see it. Peace. I mean, and that's yeah. why this is important. Uh, if you have a piece of paper and you want to draw this name of Muhammad, that might be a, a good idea for you to meditate. This is MHMD. Now, Muhammad in Arabic is 92, which equals 11, which equals 2. The name Muhammad in Arabic equals 92. 9 plus 2 is 11, which equals 2. That's a whole nother topic. I see Bilal Jala over there, mind blown, like, Somebody help him get up off the floor, please. So this is Muhammad in Arabic, alhamdulillah. Everybody got it? Yes, indeed, nice. Shake, I wrote it down. Well, that's profound. Now, guess what else? When you make a salat, what do this look like? When you make a salat, you spelling the name Muhammad in prostration. Mm. Your body takes the form of the name Muhammad when you're in prostration. So let's go back to where were we at? The, the the sixth Muhammad. Muhammad. I'm Muhammad, the heart. Ahmed, yeah, the heart. Now, okay, anyone want to read number six? I'll read number six, Shay. I'm Muhammad, the heart. I'm Muhammad is Muhammad's name <clears throat> in heaven before he came to earth. He came. Let me see here. He he was going to be named Ahmed Ahmad, right? Uh -huh. But in the but in the last second, Jabril came and said, "Name him Muhammad." Muhammad was the first person in history named Muhammad. Yes. So the Prophet Muhammad's mother, peace be upon her, was named Amina. Amina had decided to name the child Ahmed. And this is the same Ahmad, Ahmed, 
from Ahmed Ubamba, Sheikh Ahmed Ubamba, Sheikh Ahmed Tijani, it's the same Ahmed. The Prophet Muhammad's name in heaven is Ahmed. But before the baby was born, the angel Jabril came to Amina and told her, name your child Muhammad, alayhi salam. So even before he was born, he was known in heaven. Prophet Muhammad was born with no umbilical cord. He was born circum circumcised. Prophet Muhammad had so much light, he did not have a shadow. Can you imagine standing next to somebody in the desert and that brother ain't got no shadow on the ground? He's that much light. He's known as the shadowless prophet. So this Ahamid, the heart, this Ahamid in Tamil means heart. Bawa's native language, Tamil, Ahamid means heart. So if you look at, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Muham is meaning on the face and, and Ahmed meaning heart. In Tamil, it means the light of the heart showing on the face, through the face. So who this is Ahmed, uh, the heart. The prayer would be Allahumma salli ala Ahmed. Wasalim. Allahumma salli ala Ahmed wasalim. Now we have number seven, Muhammad, peace be upon him, the one worthy of praise, the beauty of Allah's essence that shines on your face coming from the heart. Based on number six, Muhammad, and number two, who can explain how when you put number two, Muhammad, and Ahmed, you get the beauty of Allah's essence that shines on your face coming from the heart. Who can explain number seven for Allahumma salli la Muhammad was selling? Who can explain that one? How Muhammad's name in Arabic is a combination of two Tamil words meaning showing on the face and the heart. Would anyone like to try that? I know it's a, a, a new concept, but would anyone like to speak on that? Number two and number six forming number seven, who we call the Prophet Muhammad Islam, the one worthy of praise. Any anyone? We definitely need a study guide for this book. I'm telling you. Yes, assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Well, um, I I would say that it represents um the manifest Muhammad, right? Um. We know that um you know that 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 Muhammad this type of truth of all things when it comes to Allah is indeed born into the heart you know it's born into the heart so um going back to what you said the heart is also the meeting place where the lover meets the beloved at as well so to me that's telling us that um you know don't manif what it manifests Muhammad it first begins in our heart you know what I'm saying so once it once it began manifest within the heart in the very beginning then after that it can be manifested throughout our face people can see it on our face. So basically, whatever goes on inside of a man is going to be manifested through the outside. So we're just saying that, you know, it must be an eternal change, first and foremost. Um, Muhammad must be manifested within our heart, first and foremost, before we can even, you know, before the light could be shining on the outside, I mean. you know. And um, yes, sir. So basic, simple. Um, I see it like that. And also, too, going back to what you were saying about, you know, Ahmad, being, meaning, you know, the base name for Sheikh Ahmadu Bama, Ahmadu Tijaniya. You know, these people, these brothers were also the heart of the community. So something about the heart. Ooh. You know, um, yes, sir. Something about their heart. You know what I mean? And um, it just um, it reminds me so much even of of, 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 of the story we heard about one of the Prophet Muhammad, Salah Allah, Alayhi Wasalam, went from Mecca to Jerusalem, you know, about the whole transformation, about the whole extension into the heavens. Oh, we know yes. as I write to brother, as I write to brother Issa told us that heaven isn't a, he said that heaven is a place that, that um, it's not food and bread, but it's peace and love and righteousness within the heart of man. So the whole story of that ascension coming from Mecca to Jerusalem, that's the story that uh, we go through whenever, whenever Muhammad is being manifested within the ourselves. Night yes, yes, sir, the night journey. And also the night, you know, you know, that represents darkness. We know that, that um, no seed cannot be cultivated unless it's in a dark environment. So it's in those dark times that um, we begin to be manifested and go throughout the changing, you know, the dark night of the soul. 
Um, as well, and also too, sir, um, I was thinking about, you know, about that whole uh, ascension process and what it means when it comes to what you're saying right now. Um, we know that, you know, Mecca, that's, a, that's where the knowledge and wisdom of the risen man began when the planet was first founded. So it's not the end all being all to me, it's just the very beginning having knowledge and wisdom, but going to Jerusalem, that was where, to me, that was where the, um, the transformation began. We know that me coming from the NG background, I learned that Jerusalem was named by three people, you know, Jabez, Salem, and Ariel. We know that Jabez means the storehouse. It's a place in which like the wheat and the chaff are being separated. So it's different. So to me, this is a separation between the self and the ego. We know that um, Salem, it means peace. So a man can have peace, a woman can have peace without, without um, you know, without having the absence of confusion. And Ariel, it means, you know, I mean, it means to walk boldly as the line of God. So therefore to me, um, you know, it deals with everything you're saying right now. So everything must take place within the heart because we can have it within our mind. But if Allah and Muhammad is manifested within our heart, then, you know, the light is never going to be shown within our face. You know, so. And yes, this sir, is you amazing. Know. The light of Muhammad definitely shows on the face. When you do yeah. the zikr, the light will show on you. When you do the names and recite the names of Allah, especially any prayers upon the prophet, that light will shine through you on your face. Uh... I would tell a story about that, but let's keep going. Number eight, the next page, please. Now we come to Nur Muhammad. Uh, um, oh my God. Ooh, I didn't mean to put that on there. I'm not going into that. Uh, Nur Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone would exactly. like to When I saw eight? that, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, Susie, I will read. This is uh, Carolyn. I, I will go ahead and read. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you. Nur Muhammad. Wisdom in the third eye, the plentitude, the abundance of light, the light which became complete within Allah and then emerged from Allah, pressed upon the forehead, third eye of Adam, aspect of wisdom. I mean, so all of this is leading up to what we've been talking about the whole time. Nur Muhammad is on the third eye of every human being, the light of Muhammad. The abundance of light, the light which becomes complete within Allah and then emerge from Allah. Woo! Would anyone like to speak on how someone who hasn't spoken yet, would anyone like to speak on their understanding of what you see this Nur Muhammad to be. The light, Allah says in the Holy Quran, Allahu Nuru Samawati wa Art. Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. The prayer would be Allahumma Sali Allah Nur Muhammad wa Salim. We talked about this Nur Muhammad extensively today. Number nine, Allah Muhammad, the unity of Allah and Muhammad. Muhammad is the vessel within which Allah resides and from within Allah speaks. So that is Allah Muhammad. Who would like to speak on uh, this number nine, Allah Muhammad, the unity of Allah and Muhammad? Who would like to speak on that? Islam. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Um, I'm just thinking. Uh, we know that Allah likes to create things in pairs, right? Uh huh. So, if Allah likes to create things in pairs, I would think that the <laughs> um, that this Allah Muhammad would be the uh, divine, uh, I guess you could, you could call it, the divine essence of Allah um, in, in, in duality, in the duality form, so that he can go on to create uh, the all of manifest. 
Okay. Manifesting everything through this light. Allahu Nur samawati the light of Allah, while our, the light of Muhammad, are these two lights together manifesting everything in creation. Now for the practice, uh, where is my, once a day, if you could just, okay, let me show you how it works. Go back to the top. So for the practice, you do one prayer on each name. Allah, you see uh, Allahumma salli Allah, name of Muhammad was salli. Does everybody see that at the top? Yes. So the practice would go like this. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma salli Allah, anathi Muhammad was salli. Allahumma salli Allah, athi Muhammad was salli. Allahumma salli Allah, awal Muhammad was salli. Allahumma salli Allah, hayat Muhammad was salli. Allahumma salli Allah, anna Muhammad was salli. Allahumma salli Allah, ahamid was salli. Allahumma salli Allah, Muhammad was salli. Allahumma salli Allah, nur Muhammad was salli. Allahumma salli Allah, Allah Muhammad was salli. So you would recite a prayer for each of the nine Muhammads, okay? Now, don't worry about the numbers because those numbers are too big. If we, we could just do, we'll go through it seven times, okay? Oh, wow. Yes, we'll go through all seven, all nine names, seven times, just to practice, to practice them once a day you can recite a prayer for each one of these nine Muhammads seven times as you're reading the book. Okay? So we're going to do one of the names at a time instead of going through all nine. So go back to the top. So we do Anathi Muhammad seven times, Athi Muhammad seven times, a wall Muhammad seven times and we go through the nine names of Muhammad like that. Are you guys ready? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli Allah anathi Muhammad wa sallim. 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 Allahumma salli Allah anathi Muhammad wa sallam. Allahumma salli Allah anathi Muhammad wa Allahumma salli Allah anathi Muhammad wa sallam. Number two. Allahumma salli Allah anathi Muhammad wa sallam. 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 Allahumma salli ala anthi Muhammad wa sallim. Allahumma salli ala anthi Muhammad wa sallim. Allahumma salli ala anthi Muhammad wa sallim. Number three. Allahumma salli ala awal Muhammad wa sallim. 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 Allahumma salli Allah awal Muhammad wa sallim. Allahumma salli Allah awal Muhammad wa sallim. Four. Allahumma salli Allah hayat Muhammad wa sallim. 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 Allahumma salli ala hayat Muhammad wa sallim. Allahumma salli ala hayat Muhammad wa sallim. Five. Allahumma salli ala anna Muhammad wa sallim. 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 
Allahumma salli ala anna Muhammad wa sallim. Allahumma salli ala anna Muhammad wa sallim. Allahumma salli ala anna Muhammad wa sallim. Six. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa sallim. 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 Seven. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa sallim. 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 Eight. Allahumma salli ala Nur Muhammad wa sallim. 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 Nine. Allahumma salli ala Allah Muhammad wa sallim. 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 And we ask you to read from the book Song of Muhammad every day and to increase your benefit and blessings from the book. You can do this practice, do this practice either before reading from the book or after reading the book. Okay? So you want to do this practice in conjunction with reading the book to bring more baraka and blessing from the Noor and names of Muhammad that you will see in this book. Any questions on the practice? I have a question, Sheikh, with um, reciting the prayer. You want us to do each name seven times? Yeah, but if seven is too much, do each name one time. I know y'all tired of me giving all these long prayers. <laughs> so one time is enough. Don't get, uh, you know, if you just do that one time and then read, or you read from the book and then do it one time, it's enough, okay? You don't have to get carried away and try to be the, the Sufi of the year, so to speak, you know. <laughs> one time is enough. All right? Yes, one time is enough. Because when you do it one time, you're already reciting nine prayers. And you already got enough other prayers to do during the days. Okay, okay so I have a question. Another uh -huh. question about, okay, the, I guess the third eye and the heart. Because um, I've heard the soul resides in both the heart and the third eye. Is that is it the heart that the soul is housed in, or is it the third eye? Just need clarity on that. Uh, according to the ancient comedic scene of judgment, was it the third eye being weighed on the scale, or was it the heart being weighed on the scale? Okay, what's the heart? Hey, hey, hey. So the soul actually resides inside of the heart. If you ask someone to point, everybody, if you point to yourself, where do you point? Does anybody point to the third eye? Everybody naturally points here to the, the heart. Because you, know, you can ask a crackhead in Walmart, point to yourself. That crackhead gonna point right here to the heart because even somebody on crack, they know that they are a being living in the heart, which is the soul. That's innate in every human being. 
I hate to use that analogy, but <laughs> you ain't even got to be metaphysical to point to the heart. Is what I'm trying to say because that is where the soul is. Yeah, that's a good question. So, a, a person can be brain dead for for a year in the hospital, brain dead. But let that heart stop beating for a second. So yes, there's a lot to be said on that, but the seat of the soul is actually the heart. Yep. And the heart is Mecca. The true Mecca, where we make the pilgrimage, should be inside of the heart. But that's a whole nother story. Uh, Balma Hayadeen has a book called The Inner Hot. In Balma Hayadeen's book, The Inner Hodge, he's explaining how the true Hodge is, uh, I see Brother Tavares typing it up, looking for it right now online. Man, these mystics, uh, Caleb Fall probably already got the book. These mystics is too much, man. But Balma Hayadeen has a book called The Inner Hodge. Maybe we'll read that book during Hodge, I don't know, Hodge season. But he talks about going into the Kaaba. The closest place to meet Allah from Noble Drali is, is, is the heart. The heart is the true Kaaba. Uh, I'm talking too much. It's been, oh, okay. Any, uh, any questions on the practice, the homework, or how to, uh, how to uh, do the practice or the homework? As-salamu alaykum. Wa alaykum as -salam. Um, Just to recap, you said the practice is before reading the book or after reading the book, recite each name seven times? Uh, if you have a circle seven Quran from the Forest <laughs> Science Temple, you might want to recite each one seven times. Okay, Islam, that's all. Oh, but oh. it is acceptable to recite each one one time. Okay. Because Islam. Prophet Muhammad Islam said, don't make Islam difficult for the people. And Sheikh Imam Jar is like, Sheikh, you're giving too many practices. I can hear her saying that already. <laughs> um, okay, that was the first question. Um, the other, it's not really a question, it's more of a comment. Um, uh, I've, when I sit with other Moorish American sheikhs, um, there was the saying that, that always goes, uh, bury a lot in your heart like, uh, a dog buries a bone. Um, and the concept is, you know how um, when a dog is 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 going hungry or a, a, a dog is out in the in, 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 in trials and tribulations, it can always return back to uh, that oh, buried gosh. bone and suck on uh, and uh, rely on the, the bone marrow. To uh, to gain sustenance, to 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 remind itself of those better days. So it's saying uh, bury a lot in your heart, like a dog will bury a bone, so that throughout your trials and tribulations of life, throughout your different um, lessons, we'll call them in life, you can always return back to that uh, to that all existing one um, to to. A lot, you always hear that call, and that call gives you the sustenance to continue to um, carry on. Okay. Always keep a lot on your mind. As the Quran says, the remembrance of a lot is the greatest. The greatest practice any disciple can do is to do the zikr and remember a lot and increase sending the prayers on the Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, I think we're coming to a close for this class. Look for the study guide in the uh, look for the study guide in the chat group within the next couple of hours, inshallah. If you haven't had a chance to send the donation for the class, you know that each class is uh, ninety nine dollars for the class, or some students are doing fifty dollars a month. And they said, wow, that's actually a, a dollar extra. Oh, forgive me, a stop for a lot, a whole cup of coffee. I'm sorry. 
So it could be ninety nine dollars uh, if you want to pay for the class whole, uh, or uh, fifty dollars a month because the classes are generally done monthly. And we appreciate all the donations that come in for the classes. We really appreciate it. All praises due to Allah for the zakat and the charity and the idea, the gifts from the disciples. Any other questions about this class? I'm looking forward to this class. We have a practice to go with the class. How many people are still doing the uh, victory meditation? You want to keep doing the victory meditation class? You, you want to keep doing the victory meditation? Um, I'm going to be starting a new disciples class. I have three new people who want to take the bayat. And uh, I think the new disciples class is probably going to be on Friday night for these three new brothers who are coming into the order. So uh, we'll see about doing a new class for new disciples. It'll probably be a four week class starting on uh, this Friday, uh, inshallah, I'll try to give them all the bayat at the same time on a Friday and start a new class. Uh, if anyone wants, you can tune in to the new class for new disciples for four weeks on Fridays. We'll be going over some of the history of Sheikh Ahmed life, uh, the basics of Iman, Islam, Isan, Definitions of Shariat, Tariqat, Hakikat, Marifat, the three levels of Yaqeen, the three levels of Fana, all the basic nuts and bolts that everybody should have. Some Akita, six articles of faith, the five pillars, just the basic stuff uh, for new disciples. And that class will start on Friday for four weeks and we will do a uh, victory meditation on Friday first, as I wanna teach the new people the victory meditation. And I'm gonna give them the basic information and it's, it's good for all disciples. So if you have time and you're available Friday at seven o'clock for the next uh, four Fridays, starting this Friday, will be the victory meditation in the class for new disciples. If you want to invite people, uh, maybe Brother Shaky Rafal might want to be in this new class on Fridays as well. Also, we have in the working on Manny Pat Me Hung, we have a class coming up on Buddhism, uh, which will probably be a one week, a one class. We're going to do an interest in Buddhism first on a Wednesday. And then our brother, uh, the enlightened Buddha, Sufi mystic, Kofi Asante is preparing. And is it a four week class or an eight week class on, on introduction to Buddhism, brother Kofi? Uh, salam, salam family. Uh, so it's going to be that first week is that introduction class just to see how people like it and if they wanna continue. So what I'm thinking is uh, we'll do an introduction and then like, introduce a meditation practice and then if people like it then we can continue on if half of <laughs> us is already buddhist man what are you talking about if I'm for a lot. you see this people ask me if i'm buddhist before they ask me if i'm muslim one time i was walking in philadelphia a guy said uh brother we got bees in islam too <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so we already like the class. I, I mean, I can't speak for everybody, but I'm sure if I ask for a show of hands, who would be interested in the class? Many of these Jedi's is going to be interested. When do you think you'll be ready to do the first introductory class, my brother? Uh, I can be ready in about two weeks to have the first class uh, ready for you. I, I got the PowerPoint mostly done. I'm just fixing up some things. Uh, so okay, about two yeah. weeks, I should be ready to, right, to do so everything. Man, we're looking forward to that. Two weeks from now on a Wednesday, we'll have an interest in Buddhism class. Uh, by a show of hands, how many of, of mystics in this family would be interested in studying the principles of this, the mind and Buddhism? Now, see, listen. 
The class is already lit, brother. That's all I want to say. <laughs> the class is already lit. So, uh, and the syllabus, man, he sent me a syllabus for the class. It looks like a PhD study in the history of Buddhism and Buddhist principles. I was like, we can start that class tomorrow, but we're going to wait for two weeks. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I ain't scared of you, mother. Stop for a lot. So we want to say, oh, many pat me hung. I mean, we want to say, al fatiha. <laughs> People, listen. My Sheikh, Serene Salihu, our Sheikh, Serene Salihu, who was the son of Sheikh Ahmed Bamba, he said in the holy city of Tuba, I have a representative in the Buddhist tradition. What would make a West African Sufi master say that in public? I came to Senegal one year and the disciples was like, oh God, the Sheikh said he got a representative in the Buddhist tradition. I said, what? Serene Sally said that? So the Prophet Muhammad Islam says, seek knowledge even unto China. When he said that, it wasn't no Muslims in China. They was Buddhists in China when he said that. I'm not even going to get on my Buddhist bag. So, stop for Allah. Oh, man, he pat me hung. We're going to say this al Fatiha because we are Muslims. And uh, <laughs> we look forward to the study guide coming out, the practice of the nine Muhammads. And... Uh, after the Buddhist class, we hope to have a class on the introduction to Hinduism. Mm. And after Hinduism class, we want to have a class on the introduction to Taoism. And mm. then after the introduction to Taoism class, we want to have a class on the introduction to Kemetic philosophy. So mm. in our Sufi school, we want to study the other doctrines and philosophies so that we can communicate to others on a common ground. We already have a Gnostic class going on Sundays where uh, we're studying the, the Gnostic text from Christianity. Mm. So yeah, brother, to, brother Sheikh is like, what? You got a Gnostic class? Yeah, we got a, a, a phenomenal mystic named Brother Bashir who's leading the Gnostic class on Saturdays. And uh, I don't know if Brother Sharik is going to be the one to do the class on Hinduism and non-Dula Veda, but uh, we're looking for uh, someone to do a class on the non-Dula Veda, Bhagavad Gita, Upanishad type teachings after the Buddhist class, inshallah. So... Islam, I, Islam, um, can we get like uh like a, a folder or a file where we have all of these different classes recorded from these classes because we got a university here i it's crazy and yeah. i definitely want to want to uh dig in but that's that's <laughs> yeah we definitely have uh, the development of a sufi university a sufi school and uh if anyone is interested in developing like uh Two of my favorite books from Nandula Veda, Sankara, The Crest Duel of Discrimination, Will Turn Your Hair Gray, and The Upanishads. I love The Upanishads. We want the, the class on Nandula Veda or Hindu teachings to be based off of these type of books dealing with oneness, non-duality. Okay, anyway, we're going to close it with our Fatiha. And Salat al Fati, Al Fati, how the time in the Shaitan or a deem, La Hala, La Kuata, La Vila, he will live a deem, Bismillah, Erahman, Erahim. Alhamdulillah, he will be a deem, or Rahman, Rahim, Malik, and the only deem. Yakana, Yakana, Stain, Yakana, Surat Ali,
Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin bi dari al-fasi makutti Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin bi dari al-fasi makutti If we're lucky and blessed we may have Sheikh Imam Jara way down the line after all the other classes if she would give us a class on aromatherapy and uh, the uh, the flower essences is one of her specialties, uh, that would be four or five months down the road, but we would love to have a class on the flower essences and aromatherapy from the alchemist Sheikh Amamjara. But I know she has a busy schedule, so that class might not manifest. We got a chess club coming up right now Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad al-Fatihi li ma'uli ka wa katimi wa sabba ka nasabu haki baha wa haadi la sirata ka muslikim wa ala ala ya ka kari wa al-Qarazim. Brother Ma'ad, if you can, can you post a uh, link for the chess class? Barka sitting sayu, 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 Barka sitting sayu. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. Hmm. Um.